Welcome and or welcome back to the channel. My name is Sarah and this is going to be my anticipated books that are on my radar for January of 2023. Uh, now I tried to keep this list as short as possible and I will have a big image up to the side of me here with the covers because honestly that's <laughs> what I want people to see because some of the covers of these books are fantastic. Um, one or two of these I have read already and reviewed. I'll have that information below. And a couple I do still have out on ARCs, but others are just ones that I'm really excited to read um, once they hit shelves and I can pick them up. Uh, so to keep this from getting too long, we're going to jump right into it. <laughs> Starting on January 3rd, we have Song of Silver, Flame Like Night by M Emily Wen Zhao. Uh, this is a fantasy book inspired by Chinese mythology and folklore about a girl living in a conquered land trying to discover more about a mysterious mark burned on her skin. Uh, now I have started this one and I am enjoying it so far. It is a dual POV it seems between the young girl uh, who seemingly is a member of the cast that was uh, torn down when the invaders or this another cast rose up into power and a young man who is an investigator. He is attempting to find more information about marks similar to the ones on her skin. So, so far I am enjoying it. Uh, moving on to January 10th, we have Lost in the Moment and Found by Shauna McGuire. And now this is the eighth book in the Wayward Children series. And I have read this and I've spoken on this previously. This is probably my least favorite book in the series, but I am mentioning it here because I know that a lot of people love this series. I love this series, uh, but this is not one that I would recommend. Um, if you do read it, skip to chapter five. Um, you can see my full thoughts in a uh, previous week in review or in my review on Goodreads, Storygraph, or my blog. <laughs> but this one was not good for me. But it is coming out if you are interested. <laughs> also on January 10th, we have The Daughters of Izdahar by Hadir Elzbai. I think I said that right. This is an Egyptian-inspired fa fantasy about a cast of girls and women attempting to gain rights to schooling, to tutelage, tutelage and using the forbidden magic that they all have within them. Um, I have started the arc of this as well. Um, it looks really interesting. It seems to be like it might be very political. So hopefully I'll be able to report back on that in the future. Next up, we have Riven by Mindy Arnett. This is the story of an assassin ruled and raised by a crime syndicate who now wants out. He has been tasked with protecting and stealing the daughter of the last man that he killed. He's sent to steal an artifact from her at the same time and ends up embroiled in what sounds like a magical war. This one just sounds really complicated and I really like the dynamic of he wants out, she's got the magical artifact, there's always the possibility of a romance there which I'm never going to say no to. <laughs> Then we have City of Nightmares by Rebecca Schaefer. I just received the arc of this last week and I'm extremely excited. The pitch on this is Gotham meets Strange the Dreamer. This sounds like a girl who is trying to hide. People in this world become nightmares and go on killing rampages just like our main character's sister did. She wants to prevent herself from becoming a nightmare and to hide she attempts to complete a job for possibly a crime boss and it backfires. It sounds a little bit wild, but I'm super down for this. January 17th gives us The Keepers 6 by Kate Elliott. I don't know a lot about this. Um, this is all I know is it is a mom trying to save her son from the dragon that kidnapped him. I love stories of parents and kids, as long as it's children that are older. And as far as I'm aware, this is about a grown son. Um, I have a hard time struggling with children in danger for younger kids, but adult kids I'm all for. Uh, and this also takes place in, I believe, a series of novellas she's previously published, so I'm looking forward to getting to that. Then on the 19th, we have God Killer by Hannah Kaner. This is about a fantasy book about a woman who kills God but finds a God tied to a young girl that she cannot kill. Um, it's a very neat premise and I absolutely adore this cover. This might be my favorite cover of all of our January releases. Next is Spice Roads. Spice Road, just the one by Maya Ibrahim. Uh, this is the story of a young girl who works to protect her nation from monsters that lurk beneath the sand, but she's being forced to reckon with the betrayal of her brother. It's Arabian inspired and I really enjoy the sound of this one. On the last day of the month, on the 31st, we have two more. Uh, both of these are romance. So we have The Davenports by Crystal Marquis. This is a historical romance set in the 1920s about a 
a black, I'm sorry, the 1910s in Chicago about a black family. And now I heard it's less about the history and more about the romance, but still I think it's a unique setting, time period, and socioeconomic group for this genre. And I'm looking forward to it. And the final one we have is Sorry Bro by Italine Voscuni. This is a queer rom-com about an Armenian woman who is embracing her roots. Now I think there might also be a fake dating or fake marriage trope somewhere in this as well. Um, another one that I have the arc of that I am hoping to get to really really soon. That is it for my January anticipated releases. Please let me know what I've missed, if you guys have read or are looking forward to anything that I have mentioned, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye!